Welcome to Tarboro, North Carolina. Riverside Plaza has been a mall that's been on my radar for years, but I've been reluctant to visit because I thought there was nothing left given Sky City's report on this place. But when I decided to stop by on a whim, not only did I find the doors open and businesses present, but the wall in the corridor portrayed on Sky City was gone. Someone opened the time capsule, and let's get a look at it. Riverside Plaza would open its doors very early on in 1972, originally named the Park Hill Mall. Even for the time, Tarboro was a bit too small to be deserving of a mall, but nonetheless, here it was, with G.C. Murphy and Belk Tyler as original anchors. The Belk store was regarded as a prototype store, being touted as a full-line department store as it hosted a garden center, auto center, and even a gas station known as Belko. The mall also hosted a people's drug as a junior anchor, with even an A&P as an out parcel on the north side. In 1982, Park Hill Mall would have been doing well enough to warrant an expansion, which would bring us three screen cinema and a Kmart on the north side. However, this seemed to be a bad move in the long run, as the owners at the time wanted a more prestigious name like JCPenney or Brody's at the time. And with that, the reality sunk in for this particular mall. It was just simply unnecessary for Tarboro, and with competition fast approaching in Rocky Mount and Wilson, Park Hill Mall began to decline in the late 80s, with G.C. Murphy going out of business in 1987. Roses would step in to mitigate that loss, however. Despite an attempt to renovate the mall in the 80s or 90s, the mall continued to decline as Belk closed its doors in 92. Roses would attempt to relocate from their GC Murphy space and into the Belk space, with Helig Myers furniture stepping into the GC Murphy space. But then, in the year 2000, Kmart would depart the mall, followed immediately by Helig Myers, which was under liquidation at the time. And with A&P becoming a thing of the past, this mall was dead in the tar. And to add insult to injury, Roses would close its doors as the company declined, leaving the mall totally anchorless. I know you saw Roses in the beginning, we'll come back to that later. For most malls, this would be the end of their story and they would be demolished or demauled. However, Park Hill Mall stuck around, getting renamed into the Riverside Plaza. It appeared that Park Hill Cinemas was keeping the doors open, and over time, Roses would come back into the picture, reopening in the former Belk space once more. Now, for context, I thought there was nothing left, because when Sky City came here in 2017, there was a big wall past the theater, barring access to the rest of the mall. So, again, imagine my surprise when I arrived in 2022, on a whim, and find that the entire concourse is wide open, and the only bit of demauling I can see is the front entrance being partially cannibalized for a Mexican cantina. That light cutting on by itself kind of spooked me for a moment. I imagine there's a sensor activator somewhere, and I walked into its range. Now, from what I could see, there were quite a few businesses that came to call the Riverside Plaza home. 
But the day I was there, only the salon was open, and I saw one or two people going into that salon. Beyond that, it made for a very surreal experience having them all almost completely to myself. It actually felt a little creepy and isolating here, and my mind began to drift off towards a certain show from the 50s. How did that go? Well, this mall is open, but the only tenant is the Twilight Zone. Let that one sink in for a moment. Someone should take that and try to build like an entire Twilight Zone intro out of it. For those of you po would-be poets or writers, now's your chance. The only thing missing that would have made this perfect in the spook factor is if the canned music was shut off. It's actually quite loud when it's just you in the mall corridors, but if it was turned off, then I would really feel like I was in the end of days, wondering if the mall was actually closed. But to bring a brighter side to this, since this mall is firmly stuck in the 80s, it would be a good spot to film an 80s era movie in these halls. Maybe something gritty or experimental. With 70s, 80s, and even 90s nostalgia being quite strong, there's plenty of opportunity to lease some of these malls out as filming sets. It is getting around that time where we gotta pack up and head out. I do hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Riverside Plaza with me. What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you do with a place like this? Do share in the comments below. And although it isn't likely since Tarboro is a bit out of the way, if you're ever coming through the area, why not stop at this mall and see it for yourself? Yes, it's a bit spartan and maybe a bit more on the hardcore side of mauling, but still, it would be a point of interest to look at sometime. Thank you for having me, Tarboro, North Carolina. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Park Hill Mall now known as the Riverside Plaza. Farewell, and good luck.